I am getting ready to season this trout. It's beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and add some garlic, some butter. This is dill. Got some garlic salt here. Garlic, garlic powder, not garlic salt. Some black pepper. And some sea salt. Okay. Going to add some olive oil to the pan, warm it up, and get everything ready. Hello, it's Cooking at Sunset together. I'm Ashanti Kumari. Hello. And I'm getting ready to cook some trout on the stove. It's going to be a lemon garlic trout. I have my measuring spoon here. I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil and let this warm up a bit. Wait till it coats all the bottom of the skillet. So lay these beautiful ladies in there. Um, face down. I call this the face. This is the skin. I'm going to cook them on medium for about three to four minutes until they turn brown. And then we'll go ahead and flip them over. We'll let you know how it goes. Along with tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making some quinoa on the side. And it's two to one. One cup of quinoa, two cups of water. I like to brown mine first. So I'm going to do that and cook it on up. It's just about ready. I'm just making sure it doesn't burn. Um, and this is fish. It's going to cook fairly quickly. I'm going to start my alarm, my timer on here, and see what happens. I've never made this recipe, so it's going to be interesting. Three to four minutes on each side. I'll put it on four, just in case. Almost done, about four more seconds. I'm going to flip it over. So these leaves I need to take up off of the ground because that is what causes disease and bugs to climb up. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and harvest this plant so I can get it in the house. It's really big and it's already leaned over right here. And because I have so many of them, I can go ahead and take that off or just harvest as much as I can until this flower here goes to seed and then I'll be able to save it for next season. But now I'm going to go ahead Give it a good wash with the water hose, and then I'm going to prune and take it inside to eat. Okay, it's been three minutes, and I'm going to flip it. Camera's in the way, so I'm working around it. <laughs> That's pretty. One more time. One more time. One more time. All right. All right. Last couple of minutes. Just talking to us there. And I'm going to turn off the heat. And move it off of the stove. And okay, my quinoa is off to a boil. I'm going to cover it back up and then turn it down to a simmer. Cook it for another 15 to 20 minutes until it's absorbed all the water, and then I'm going to fluff it with a fork. And peel all of it off. I'm going to add it back to the skillet with some butter and garlic. I'm going to add the butter and garlic right now, and show you what to do. 
All right, about to remove the rest of the skin from off of the skillet. Sorry, I couldn't use it again. I'm gonna keep these same oils so that um, the flavor is still in there. I'm gonna add some butter and garlic to the bottom of the pan. Um, two tablespoons of butter. Probably gonna use a little bit less than that because butter is good, but gotta watch it. Get that all around in there, let it hang out, melt down a little bit. This garlic and butter is simmering real nice. That looks really good. I'm gonna add it right now. I'm gonna add it on the side that was the skin so that the flavors that I just added with the seasonings will kick in. Brown it up a little bit. Bad flip. Let's try it again. And again. Patience is a virtue, eh? All right. Let it simmer from one side for about two minutes and the other side for two minutes so it can pick up that flavor. Mm. I should probably add this lemon zest now. Take off my little guard. This is the best investment, I think. It's really added a whole new level. Get all of that good, delicious nutrition. All right, it's been on for about two minutes. I'm gonna flip it and season the other side with lemon zest. Rub it around in that good old garlic butter seasoning. And hit this other side with lemon zest. And I'm gonna cut this in half and then juice it up a little bit. I'm gonna add my broccoli on top of it. And because one side is already cooked, I'm gonna just throw this on there right quick. Cover it up. I'm gonna squeeze this lemon in it. Put my hand over it so it catches the seeds and just go all around it. All right, I like to squeeze all of the juice, get it all out of there, get some of that pulp in there, cover it back up so that steam cooks in there and take it off of the heat. As I said, I do like flavor, so I'm going to add just a little bit of butter to this. Not very much, like less than half a teaspoon, or maybe half a teaspoon. Stir it up, and let the rest of the water evaporate out of there. I have the top off of it so that it can cook on out. Quinoa is done and ready to plate. I like to make quinoa because it's a nice substitute for rice or pasta. It has very good benefits and it's very delicious. Once you add all your seasonings, it's popping. Okay, the broccoli and trout is done. I'm gonna plate it. So I've just picked some fresh onions from the garden and I'm going to finish the rest of the meal with these flavors. And we're going to add our fish. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, as I said, I'm going to add my fresh onion that I just cut from the garden. A couple of shears. Not a couple, just one, really. I'm going to just 
go over this. Okay, I've had a couple of little tastes, I'm not gonna lie, and it's quite delicious. Get ready to eat this. Happy dining, I hope you try this recipe. Thank you for watching. Bread on the griddle, 300 degrees. When it's done and ready, then you drain the grease. Lettuce and tomato, yes, it tastes so sweet. I hope you brought it too, because I saw it in your teeth. I like, I like sandwiches. 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 Sandwiches, they all so delicious. So many options, your head will start spinning. Turkey, ham. Olives, cremini, cozy it up between buns and come see me.